Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and clear up something that has kind of risen up with these new buy stations that are available around Verdansk. And at these buy stations, you can now buy a foresight, which allows you to see all future zones as if you did like 10 or 12 recons. And then you also get an advanced UAV, which is probably one of the most powerful things in all of Warzone because it is a hard counter to ghost. We're going to go ahead and break down what makes it so broken and kind of how the regular UAV works as well as when you stack three UAVs together and how this differs from the actual advanced UAV. We'll talk about bunker locations, what it looks like, all that type of stuff in today's video. So if you enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button if you're brand new, want to find your way back. Double check, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Let's go ahead and get into the first couple examples. So the first thing we're going to talk about is bunker locations. We have uh, three, or we have four different bunker locations. Um, obviously, we have the ones at the silos. So if you just land here, a little bit south of military, I'll also give you a map so you'll be able to screenshot what all that looks like. Uh, you just come and run through, um, and then there's going to actually be this little panel with the skulls on it. It says 33% now. Before, they were all 5%, and pretty much that's all it is. You're able to walk into it. This is plunder, so you can't actually access the menu. We'll also look at the menu so you can kind of see what's going on. Also, over at the airport, underneath the airport where that little hole is, you do have the same scenario going on as you come through. Kind of just search around the building a little bit. You'll end up finding it. Obviously, in uh, this this area, there's usually a decent amount of loot. So you might get lucky enough to be able to come through and get that there. There's also one on the south bunker, kind of towards the left, uh, bottom left side of the map. You kind of just run in. This is one's probably the most accessible, in my opinion, because literally you come through this entrance, you'll walk in, and it's right there in front of you. Um, there's also one at park. Park's an enclosed space, so pretty easy to get to that. Um, so now we'll go ahead and look at the location. So these are the individual locations as of right now. If you actually go to TV station, you can turn on the thing. It's going to give you a key card and you can open up one of those chests that has money, satchel, self-revive, whatever it has in it, um, depending on when you access it. Um, but that's not what you're looking for. You're looking for the E2, which is the coordinates here, E2. So if you're looking specifically where it is, it's the bottom left quadrant in E2 where the missile silo opened up. Whereas before it used to be closed and there was a little bit of a buy station next to that the big old statue or whatever it was. D4, top mid D4, the airport crashes, a little bit of a hole uh, there. You kind of just glide in, look around, you will find it. Then we got D8, hills silo, um, and it's on that left-hand side. You could jump in through the hole or you go in through that pipe like we showed on screen. And then the F8 uh, near the top quadrant, top right quadrant of F8. Um, it's Bunker 10 Park Bunker. It's just south of Park Bunker. There's a spiral kind of stair, uh, spiral kind of statue building there. You just go a little bit south and to the right of that, southeast, and you'll be able to find it. Doors open. You run in. There used to be a bunch of gold chests before this update, uh, so it's a little bit harder to get in there. But that's kind of how that part works. And then once you've gone in, this is the, the buy station you're going to be able to get access to. Requires a key card. Zombies key card is kind of how that will work. You can get a regular gas mask. You can get an RCXD. Normal price. These are in the right order, though, from lowest to highest compared to the regular buy. I know a lot of people have been complaining RCXD is at the bottom instead of loadout. But they'll fix it eventually. Then we have self-revive, armor box, all normal, loadout markers. You can get your loadout there. And then there's an advanced UAV, which is very different than calling in three UAVs. So very, very different as we'll go ahead and see. And then we have foresight, which shows all future zones. And that one's probably something I'll do a separate video on because a lot of people have been grabbing that and they're using it completely wrong. At least in my opinion, there's a right way to do it. A lot of people are just going camp in zone, but that's a whole other story. There's a right way to, to actually execute that to get easy wins, not just place high, uh, which generally if you just go to the end zone, you're going to place high. So now let's go and look at the differences in advanced UAV, a regular UAV and three UAVs. So what I've done here is I've gone into plunder and this is an easy thing that you can go in and test yourself. This is by far the easiest way to do it. What you do is go ahead and put on um, the discounted perk so you can actually buy uh, the different streaks easier. Um, you go in there, they're only 15 K instead of 20 K you go ahead and buy a bunch of them. You drop them on the floor. And then you go ahead and call them in one by one. And as you go ahead and call three of them, if you call one by itself, it's going to last approximately 40 seconds. If you call in multiple, that time is going to stack. So you get roughly like, I don't know, if you called in four, you'd probably get close to like uh, almost two minutes of time. 
Um, it would go become an advanced and then or a semi super advanced as I'll call it. And then it'll shrink back down um, and then it'll have like a regular UAV effect um, for a little bit of time there. So it just kind of depends. So what you do is you have a helicopter ready um, and that's what I've done here. I jump into this helicopter and then you can move around the map. What's going to happen is it's going to show everyone on the map, regardless if they're wearing ghost or not except for people within around a 250 meter radius in each direction. So pretty much in any direction, that's kind of where it goes. And it's kind of a little bit before the edge of that little UAV pulse goes. And what you'll see is we're flying around. None of these players next to me have ghosts. None of these are ghosted players. And then I go, all right, let me go to Boneyard. There's gotta be people in Boneyard. We're gonna look closely at this guy right here. Uh, you can kind of see him just to south. Uh, east or southwest of this little uh, opening, you know, money crate thing. As we get closer, within 250 meters, you're gonna see they vanish. See they're disappearing. They didn't die because we're gonna come back to them afterwards. Even with the regular UAV, similar effect is happening. So he disappeared. This one's disappearing because we're within that 250-ish meter range. We go ahead and keep going south because what I was trying to accomplish is the further I go south, they'll go ahead and reappear which they end up doing. And you'll see kind of how this works out. So I keep going further and further. And as I get a little bit above here, you can see they re-emerged. As I got a little bit further away, I'm gonna go ahead and do a seat swap. You can see the other one popped up. Because they are out of that range, they will have a little pop up within that thin uh, like distance. So between about 250 to 275, somewhere in there, they disappear. And you can see that they are no longer on the map. These other people that have the little like the most wanted or whatever you want to call it, whoever's the, you know, top of the leaderboard, I guess, in money, they're that there. I called in a basic UAV. And what you're going to see is as soon as I get a little bit closer, it's going to pass. Boom. They both show up. But these are both ghosted players at the top here where this orange ping is. You're going to see as soon as I get a little bit closer, they disappear. And they didn't disappear because of that cluster. The cluster was coming across. And what I do is I purposely drive over the top of them hoping that I can spot them because obviously the UAV is active. So they should be in this area and there he is shooting me, but they're not popping up on the mini map right here, right above the helicopter on the mini map, the little blue helicopter with my arrow between me and the little orange ping. You can see that there's an opening right here where this person is directly shooting at me. The UAV has passed and they are not visible. So that is how it interacts with ghost players. And there is a distinct difference between that and an advanced UAV, because an advanced UAV, although it will still only last 40 seconds, it will show all players, regardless if you're five meters away, 500 meters away, 2000 meters away, it does not matter. It will show every single player on the map and there is nothing anyone can do to counter it once you've called it. So this is a clip I showed uh, before uh, from Twitch. This is OP marked uh, when he had like, 1400 wins instead of 3000. I just use this because I had the footage still handy. And I, I think it's a good example of kind of exactly what's going on. I had the timer up top so you can see 40 seconds. Um, and this is ideally how you want to do it. Back in the day when you can go into the bunker, you can get a foresight for free and you can get an advanced UAV for free. And they also had juggernauts for free, whole different thing. But what happens is ideally you want to save the advanced UAV for closer, like when you're maybe top seven, top eight, um, in the zone. Um, so that's why the foresight and an advanced UAV or a couple recons, a bunch of recons and advanced UAV go hand in hand because what you can do is save it for this zone and it will show everyone. So if there's a total of 12 players, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11, this guy down here, and then the, the rest of the team. That's kind of what you can do and it will show everyone and it will show these players as dots if they are using ghost, regardless of the distance. So you can see no matter what, even though he's pretty far away from these, it's showing that ghosted players a dot, which can still give you valuable information. If you don't get a chance to close the distance and get a kill on that right away, you can know, okay, there's three ghosted players in that direction. Let's focus on the people that are showing up because if they show up with the triangle and are on advanced UAV with the triangle, that means you can heartbeat sensor them and they will pop up. So same thing as we come through, he's gonna end up pushing through, called it a little bit early. And as he comes up here, he closes the distance and this ghost player 
that he's engaging with. You can see that there's a, a few different ones, it's a little bit blurry here, but you can kind of see what's going on on this outer edge where there's three of the triangles. There's a dot player over here and there's a dot player here with a red dot and then a little chevron underneath that character, which means they're on a lower elevation. So sometimes with a ghost, it's actually giving you more information than just a triangle. Obviously it's good to know where the players are looking, but for the most part, they're gonna be looking inward towards you. That's not a big deal, but actually knowing the specific elevation they're on, the UAVs work the same way. That's why the advanced UAV is so powerful because it will show everyone on the map for 40 seconds. And that's why ideally, if you're playing for a win, you get enough money, maybe do a bunch of recons and then use that money for an advanced UAV in your loadout for 22,000 combined um, so that you at least have one. Go post up late game, get your free loadout. Wait till the zone's almost over. Like, you know, there's only a couple teams left. Call that in. Everyone will be visible and your team can go ahead and go full on destroying the teams that think they're safe because of ghosts and are unaware. And, and they won't know exactly they're, how they know exactly where I'm at. Advanced UAV is that powerful and it'll allow you to see all of the players. And then that's kind of how it goes. I wanted to explain that because there's a lot of misconceptions on that and whether or not, well, what's the difference? Why wouldn't I just buy these three? Oh, you could just hold on to it. That's the main difference. These are significantly different in terms of how good they are and how you want to use them in the game. If you're kill hunting, it's kind of a little expensive to get an advanced UAV for 40 seconds. This is 100%, in my opinion, more geared towards trying to get a win. Only other difference is if maybe you want to know where most of the enemies are on the map. Maybe you call one in, and then you can at least head in that area for trying to get kills, but it's a little bit less practical. Um, other than that, you know, with 100% certainty, it will show everyone on the map. So hopefully that made sense. If you did enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're brand new, want to find your way back, double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. Appreciate all the support on the channel. Thank you for watching as always have a great day.